The most common form of venous disease we treat is called venous insufficiency or venous reflux. This commonly involves the veins in your legs and affects more than a third of adults. In a normal healthy vein, there are small valves that open and close that allow the blood to move from the feet to the heart in one direction. It's common for those valves to become leaky and when they do, gravity will pull the blood in the wrong direction, causing it to pool in the legs. This causes higher pressure on the inside of the veins and that pressure can cause pain, achiness, heaviness, swelling, cramps, restlessness. Usually these symptoms are more severe after being on your feet for a while and commonly occur at night. Symptoms can be quite debilitating and affect your ability to work, sleep, and affect your quality of life in other ways. Over time, the pressure caused by these leaky valves can cause the veins to dilate and stretch, becoming the bulgy, tangled veins we know as varicose veins. But venous reflux affects people in different ways. You can have symptoms of venous reflux without the presence of varicose veins. This is important because the symptoms arise from the pressure on the inside of the vein, not necessarily the way it looks. For example, some patients will present with swelling or edema, others do not. Some patients will have large varicose veins and some have none. For some patients, it's the health of the skin that becomes problematic with darkening and thickening of the skin or tissue scarring and even skin ulcers and wounds that won't heal. Venous reflux is very treatable and the treatments are a lot easier and more effective than they used to be. The first step towards knowing how to treat a patient is getting an accurate diagnosis and determining which veins are involved and how severely they're affected. This is done with a diagnostic ultrasound.